Honey, Katie's boyfriend's here. Does tonight? Yeah. Do we have to? Come on, you're gonna love him. Oh, sit down, you guys. I apologize for being so underdressed. I just came from work and I didn't have time to change at home. But we brought champagne. Oh, how sweet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dinner is almost ready. I'm going to go get it. Good idea. So you said you just came from work. What is it that you do exactly? Yeah, I, uh, I just started a landscaping business and we're small right now, but we are determined to grow and I'm very, very proud of it. Oh wow, this looks delicious. Oh, Katie, I like a man with manners. <laughs> Starting your own business isn't easy. Yes, I understand your concern, but I believe that if I work hard enough, my business will grow and the money will follow. <laughs> that is very optimistic. But most businesses fail, especially in this economy. You know, how are you going to take care of my daughter if it does? Yes, I understand you're concerned about your daughter. However, the thing with landscaping is that I've, I'm finding that clients right now are really wanting to be outdoors, especially at home. I've developed a five-year plan, I've hired a financial planner, and I'm going to hit my financial goals. And with the savings, we're gonna get an apartment together. Oh, how exciting. Really? Yes. I'm sorry, Katie, but how can you be with this guy? What do you mean? I mean, look at the way he's dressed. He obviously has no idea how to run a business. He has no fallback plans. He's not going to be able to take care of you. I just want better for you than this. Richard! What, am I wrong to be worried about our daughter? I'm sorry, but this glass of scotch is probably worth more than his entire business. Hey, you know what? I think I'm gonna go. Wait, don't go. No, I'll be by the car. What is wrong with you? Katie. You always taught me that hard work was the most important thing, and he has that, and you still don't respect him. I cannot believe you. How could you be so rude? He's a perfectly nice young man. Look, I'm just worried about our daughter, even if neither of you understands that. She needs to be with somebody that, can, that has money, and can buy her things, or at least not live off of her. You know, that's what we always wanted for our children. You seem to have forgot where you came from. When I first met you, you were a cashier at a grocery store with nothing but your name. But you worked hard. And people looked down on you, but it was okay. Because we loved each other, and that's all that really mattered. What happened to that man that I loved so long ago? Yeah, but you know, we, we had to work so hard and struggle, and I worked such long hours. I mean, we didn't have it easy back then like we do now. That's true, but we were rich to us because we loved each other, and now your daughter has that. And you were so mean to the man, and but they, they have each other like we had each other. And who are you to judge that he won't succeed? You succeeded. Maybe he'll prove them wrong. Sorry, I forgot my keys. Please sit down, please. I I have a few things I need to say, just for a moment. <sighs> Look, I wanted to apologize for being so rude earlier. You're young and you have big dreams. You seem like a nice man. You and my daughter love each other very much, and I should not have been so quick to judge. Wow, thank you. My wife reminded me that I was just like you when I was young. I was ambitious, with goals and dreams, and not much else. You know, uh, despite everybody 
talking down to me and telling me that I wouldn't succeed, I worked hard. I seem to have forgotten that along the way. You know, there, there's a lot that we actually have in common. Katie, I'm really sorry for ruining dinner. He seems like a very nice man, and I think that we should plan on having him around a lot more. <laughs> Dad, you mean it? Yes, I do. As a matter of fact, I think there's probably a few things I could learn from you. Thank you, sir. I, I think your daughter and I are going to like that very much. It was nice meeting you.